Just wondering whether I should stick those L plates on the front of my allotments. Welcome back to the allotment. So today is literally all about planting that garlic that I didn't do the other day. Pretty much ready to plant. Now I haven't put any muck or anything into this flower bed. I'm literally just going to go straight in with the garlic. A few little weeds in here still, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm never going to plant anything if I just constantly weed the flower beds. The golden spade has to come out. Golden spade is my pride and joy. Got it for Christmas. I use this every time I plant something or any time I do anything of any significance. Today's garlic day, so the golden spade is out. <laughs> So that's that done so as far as i'm concerned i'm pretty much ready to plant this stuff now so let's have a look at what it says on the packet three centimeters deep and ten centimeters apart just have a look at the distance in between the garlic and do you know what i can get absolutely loads of garlic in such a big space like that so instead what i've done is i've shrunk down the space that i'm going to grow them in into just a smaller area look what i've done here see i've just moved this piece of wood to this square here because i think I'm gonna be able to get all my garlic in that area there. Next job for me is to take out one garlic and see how many cloves we get out of one because that'll determine how much space I really need. This one is mild flavor, French garlic, soft neck. I really don't know what I'm doing here guys, but I've just broken off this garlic, um, this garlic clove, and these are the cloves that have come out of it. Well, I'm really enjoying this. I've broken up the second garlic clove. It did go a little bit. There's a bit of a green bit in it, which is a bit weird. Um, looks a little bit mouldy, but anyway, I managed to get a few more clothes out of that one. But I'll tell you what, this is exciting stuff, guys. I'm really, really quite weirdly excited about planting this garlic. Let's just have a look at it anyway. Look up, look at what I've got so far. Here, I've basically lined out the garlic as best as possible. Next job for me is to use my famous dabber and dab them in. I've been a farmer in my previous life. So let's get my dabber anyway. I'm not going to mess about. I'm just going to get these into the ground. I think I've been procrastinating with this sort of stuff, but you just got to get it in and move on, haven't you? Got big areas to deal with here. I can't fanny about with each one. The plan is, I'm literally just going to create a hole for each one that's about three centimeters deep. So that's going to be up to about there, probably even a little bit less, probably about there. And I'm just going to plant in each one so the pointy bit faces upwards. In going my first crop in my allotment, some mild garlic. Very excited about this. Let's go ahead and plant them in then. garlic cloves in there um, the next thing I want to do is make a little sign and I'll put the sign at the bottom along with the label as well so that it's complete it actually feels like every time I come down the I'm to bloody forget something so today I've forgotten my permanent pen I bought these little signs that I could actually write on exactly what it is I'm planting look how cool they look look at these and I was going to put these with the garlic the name of the garlic the date of when I've planted them but I've left the bloody pen at home before I plant the other two garlic in you know there's I know I thought I could hear something when I turned up there's actually a tractor in the field they've actually come along and cut the hedge behind the allotment but you know when you I hear that and I see a tractor and I think you know spring ain't that far away is it we've got not many weeks now and you can smell that sort of cut hedge if that's a that's the smell He's obviously preparing his land the same as what I'm doing. I might have had a stinker with the first one, if you pardon the pun, with the garlic. Because I seem to have got loads more out of this one. I don't know whether it's the way I've crushed it up and there's probably some more cloves on this one. See, look, it feels like I've got loads more out of this one. Anyway, let's put them in the ground and see. Look how many rows I've got out of that one. So I, I haven't planned this very well at all, but it doesn't really matter. As long as they're in the ground, that's all that matters to me. What I will do is I'm going to crush up the other garlic, get the clothes, see how many I've got and see if I can fit them in that space. If not, they'll have to go somewhere else. So let's do that next. 
Very bizarre, almost like the garlic gods have been shining on me because those two were really small. Let's get them in the ground using my dabber. I'm definitely learning something as I go along here because really probably the best thing to, to do is do things in stages. So lay it all out first and then punch the holes into the ground so that you can make sure that they're all level and then put the garlic in. So I wasn't doing it like that, I was doing it one at a time. So I think it's probably better in hindsight. So I know now for future to put the holes in the ground first and then just drop everything in. <laughs> So what an awesome job. I planted them all in there. That was really rewarding. I kissed each one as well, give it a bit of a garlic kiss. So I'm hoping for pure success with these garlics, which is the first thing that I've planted in my allotment. So I'm really pleased. Let me show you um, what it looks like. Not really much to see there guys, apart from the fact that there's loads of garlic underneath there. But the dab has helped me out big time because it's just made life easy. The next thing I'm going to do though, because I have been reading that when you plant garlic cloves, um, you can get a lot of pigeons and birds that watch what you do. I'm going to lay some of this cloth that I've brought over the top of this, um, which will hopefully stop them doing that. And then you can take the cloth off apparently when they're three or four centimetres big. Okay, so this is the stuff that I've bought to put over that flower bed and hopefully stop the birds pecking and lifting up the garlic clove that I've put in. Oh, that looks really, that looks really professional, that does. Well pleased with that. Look at that, yeah, that's just me garlic. Me garlic's just, yeah, that's, that's just my garlic there, guys, doing in the background, um, you know, as you do. Planting a bit of garlic. Can't beat a bit of garlic, can you? Garlic is just the greatest thing to plant. So, yeah, the, what's over there? What's over there, mate? It's just me garlic, mate. Don't worry about it. Me garlic's just there. Look at that. I'm well pleased, well proud of that. And do you know what? That's the first thing that I've planted in my allotment since taking it over. And I mean, we love garlic anyway as a family and I can hand some of that out to some other family members because loads is going to come off that. So I'm really pleased. Um, I pegged down that cloth as well. Um, I bought some pegs which I was going to use for the fence, but I didn't use them in the end, so I've used it for that. Ah, job well done today. The main thing that I've learned today is probably to put the holes into the ground before you actually plant anything so you can actually see where things are going to be planted so that's the main takeaway from today so that's today's pro tip from a beginner um, but i've got my cloth on i've got my garlic in i'm really really proud of myself now i'm really looking forward to watching this grow so stay tuned because you will see this garlic grow into garlic what's going to be my next job who knows